In the previous video, I uh, used the workshop raw data file and uh, uh, corrected the typos and also I removed the reluctant cases and I saved the file as workshop raw data, no reluctant and typo cases. Now we want to continue cleaning the data by identifying the missing variables. So, uh, how to identify the missing cases? Of course, you can use SPSS. Uh, it's already, I already explained to you in previous videos, but um, you can use Excel as well. I want to just show you quickly how to use Excel. For example, if you want to identify whether there is any missing, uh, you want to know the, whether there is any case with many missing cases. So what you need to do is you, You, you create a column here and name it, let's say, missing. Then you use a formula. I already talked about formulas in, fine, uh, in Excel with you. If you want to, if you are interested to learn, there are so many materials and videos, everything available on YouTube and in Siri that you can watch them and learn more about Excel. But here I just want to show, share a few formulas functions with you. So equals means you want to write a function or formula, then count blank means how many missing, how many blank cells we have. Then open the parentheses. When we open the parentheses, it means we want to give some data. So where's my data? I just put the mouse here on the first and then click drag the mouse to the right and select all cases in the first row then i leave the mouse button close the bracket enter zero means no missing case then how to apply the same formula to all cases here i put my mouse at the corner here when the shape of the mouse has changed i double click so now it has been applied the same formula to all rows or cases now let's see which cases has missing data means which people which respondents have missing data so i can just click here to make it easy just click conditional formatting highlight cell rules so it just highlights the cases with the criteria and greater than zero i want to see to highlight any case with missing data greater than zero means here Okay, one case, one, so case number 92 has one case, missing case, one, 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 all are one, right? You see? Uh, okay, there's no issue actually because one is nothing, I mean, compared with number of questions we have in the questionnaire. And let's see whether there is any, uh, we can check whether there is any pattern. Uh, you can see, it seems, they are random. For example, this is a missing case. This is a missing case. This here, we have this one. Here, it's another missing data. Here. So you just observe, you need to, this is your observation. I mean, for this case, there are not many missing cases. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So as you can see, not many missing cases and it happen randomly. I mean, no, I don't think we need to do a test to see whether there is any pattern here or not. Uh, so based on my observation, there is no pattern. So randomly happen the missing cases. So I would say that this is there's no issue based on the rule of thumb that I discussed before with you. So what we can do here is, uh, oh, and one more thing. Let's see whether any variable has uh, many missing cases. We want to see any specific variable has many missing cases. So I use the same formulas here. I just, the last row, I write equals, um, count blank, open the parenthesis, and then the first row, click, and then drag and drop, uh, not, not drop, <laughs> drag and go to the last row and leave it, close the bracket. Means we are selecting column A, row number two to row number 302. So for this variable, we have only one missing case, right? So here. 
again I want to see anything greater than zero and there is you see they are randomly distributed not one variable has so many missing data right so there is no big issue and two one they are not big they're not really my concern so what I can do is I can simply follow the uh, <coughs> method that I share with you, you impute using the imputation method, just compute the mean and replace the mean with <coughs> replace them, replace the missing case with the mean. You can do it in Excel. I can just quickly show it to you. Then I will show you how to do it in MS. For example, this one, I just write equals uh, average means mean. Open the not sure whether you see I zoom in again so here we have some missing cases I compute the average equals uh, or I think here even in Excel I can just select the yeah easy very easy guys just you can <laughs> okay well, let me show you how it works in Excel of course okay let me first tell you the formula so you just write here equals average of column a row number two to column E row number 302 or you can use it just select them using mouse the same method I discussed is 1.91 there is another method you just select the cases that you want to compute them their mean and Excel will show you here 1.92 right so yeah, it's very easy now replace the missing cases by 1.92 yep that's all now I don't have any missing case anymore. So you see, if I write the formula, there's no missing case anymore. So this is one of the methods you can use. So I can do the same in SPSS. I already showed it in another video, but uh, in previous videos, I want to show it here again. So one of the data files is data, no reluctant typo, but it's a SPSS file. So I open it. and oops now um, I have the data file and I go to analyze descriptive frequencies and select those that you want to check let's say all of them I want to check whether there is any missing case or not so I select them to the oh my god sorry move them to the right side, remove the tick because we don't want to get too many tables and hit OK. So we can see number of, you can see number of missing cases for each variable. One, two, it's the same thing we got from Excel file. And if you, as you remember, I already shared this with you here. This is the instruction, it's already in your notes. So we have discussed this before. I'm just reviewing again. So how to handle the missing cases? Go to uh, um, transform, replace missing values. Then those with missing, you will move them to the right box, but it's okay if you remove all of them to the right box, it will just create more variables and those without missing, nothing will happen to them. So let's say I want to just treat the uh, one three and five that had missing cases I move them to the right side click here then I get a new name so new variables will be created at the end of the data file it's the same variable name plus underline one the method I want to use is series mean it means the um, missing data will be replaced with the mean and then I hit OK so uh, yeah case yeah, so subjective norm question one, subjective norms one had one missing case, here two missing case, two missing cases, two missing cases, and they were replaced. And now we check the data file, and there are three new variables, and these three new variables are the same subjective norm one, two, three, sorry, subjective norm one, three, and five, but without missing cases. I can prove this to you. I go to analyze descriptive frequencies. And now there are three new variables. I move them to the right side, remove the tick, and hit OK. There's no more missing data. So this is the way we can handle missing cases 
in CSS2. Um, yep, and now, um, yep, and I already discussed with you how to check outlier, univariate outlier, so you can refer to those videos. But um, basically, our data file is almost ready to be used for um, our tests in. Amos.